infrastructure as a code is one of the foundation pillars of DevOps. And it actually all started with Chef and Puppet. In fact, Puppet was the first tool and then in 2005, then came Chef around 2009. Ansible is a late entrant. It was created in 2013, by, but it is quickly getting really, really popular because of its simplicity as well as, uh, you know, there's a red hat, you know, is behind it. Uh, it is simple to learn, simple to set up and uh, simple to use in general. And that's exactly what I'm gonna get you started with in this section. So this series of videos focuses on understanding Ansible by actually implementing it or applying it. And this is gonna be useful for you whenever let's say you've been given some Ansible code and you've been asked to uh, deploy or create a clustered environment it could be setting up OpenStack, setting up OpenShift, setting up a clustered environment, setting up Kubernetes. Uh, you a lot of these utilities or tools have all or platforms have already started using Ansible code to deploy in even in production environment and when you do that you need at least the basic understanding of Ansible. This is exactly what you're going to learn in this series. You're going to begin by setting up a multi-node Ansible environment by using Docker Compose and our homegrown tool called as Codespaces. Then you'll learn how to define the inventories and use the host patterns. Do ad hoc server management with modules which are the Ansible's batteries included. Start writing infrastructure as a code in a modular format using roles. Map those roles to the set of host and define a sequence of actions using playbooks. Apply those playbooks using Ansible playbook utility. You'll also get a glimpse of the most common Ansible code organization strategies so that you understand the Ansible code when you see it. Well, that should definitely get you started with Ansible and next time you've been given some Ansible code, you would definitely have a better understanding of how to use it, how to make changes and how things work in general with Ansible. So let's get started with this series.